right, today we're having a look at another X-Men 97 Wave 1 figure. Today we're looking at Gambit. After this one, I have two left to review, and then I can get started on Wave 2. But stay tuned for the review. So, <laughs> Gambit. Not gonna lie, this figure almost beat a Wolverine as my figure, favorite figure from the Wave. But, you can't beat Wolverine. I absolutely love this figure. This figure is... It looks... It looks amazing, in my opinion. Now, I've heard people say that they... Some do like the Gambit. Some are kind of meh on it. Some are mixed on it. I like this figure. This is my second figure, favorite figure. I've never had a Gambit. This will be my only Gambit figure. I don't think I'll probably pick up another one. Because this is a classic kind of Jim Lee looking Gambit. So, nothing wrong here. I like the hair sculpt. It looks good. I like if I can, if the eyes can appear. I like I like the red eyes. They're red. And you just can't really see them. And then he has a little bit of painted on stubble. I don't know stubble. I don't know how good that's gonna appear on camera, but you can see that. Um, accessories comes with me dropping the accessories. Comes with a hand where he's throwing the cards. Comes with a smoking card hand. It comes with his bow staff. Um, I would, and he also has the hand for holding the bow staff and the hand for holding the, holding the card. Let's move those out the way. Set him down for a minute. Pick him up. Um, I do wish that he came with another set of hands, like just regular hands. Some fisted hands would have been nice, mostly because. So that way you can have something other than just this hand. But let's take a look at the sculpt. The jacket is good. You can kind of peel it back and see the legs and stuff. You can just kind of see the sides here. Of course, the legs are painless because this is just a reused. These, this is reused body. But you can see all the little designs. The paint on mine is really good. No, like paint smears and anything. You can see a little bit of what looks really like marbling, but that doesn't really bother me too much. And then you see it on this side too. There is, I don't know how good that's gonna appear on camera, but it this coloring it looks like, but nothing too bad. And then you can see the chest. It's just reused from the last Gambit figure, which I do not have. Uh, the head is different. The head is basically based off what it looks like in the show. The jacket's the same. Um, and you can see the his his uh, torso through the jacket, which is interesting. But let's see how well he holds these accessories. Which let me, let me get into that because this bow stuff likes to just kind of move around a little bit. Like he just kind of is waving it. And when I pose him like this, he he has had tendencies of where he just. It's a little sturdy, but he has dropped it before. But it doesn't quite just sit there in place. And it's just bendable, soft plastic. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, he can hold the card. Right here. He can hold the card. And then this goes in. This one goes in this hand, so let's just pop this hand out. We just pop this hand in, and you see the peg. It, this hand doesn't actually have any articulation; it doesn't move anything. But you see, the peg is that trench loop is perfectly so it shows like his energy, I guess. And then yeah, you have him throwing the cards at you, like yeah. Uh, I always liked Gambit in the show, in the original show, just because I always thought he was, he was entertaining, he was powerful, he was funny. Him trying to heal on Rogue, though, was hilarious at times. Because she's like, leave me alone, I don't want you. But it was always kind of funny. Uh, so, yeah. we'll see a comparison between those two next video. But let's look at some comparisons now with the rest of them. Um, so let's pull out Storm, who I just did. Let's pull out Magneto, who I did a while ago. It was like the second video. If 
All right, Magneto, we're going to stand. Uh, um, he, he, there we, he looked kind of crooked, but he's standing. And let's bring in short stuff Wolverine. Or he just stand. Let's bring in short stuff Wolverine. Yeah, you can see Gambit's taller than everybody. This is how tall Magneto should have been. Magneto should have been this tall. Yeah, he's embarrassed, so he wants to just fall down. Crimson not happy with this one. No. I'm moving him. Bring in this guy. Yeah. He is... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm just going to set you off to the side. Is he taller than Mr. Sinister? Hold on a second. Oh, no. I'm seeing it wrong. Oh. Oof, I was about to say, nobody's taller than Mr. Sinister. And no, he missed it. Mr. Sinister is significantly taller than Gambit, too, so. Yeah, I thought he was about to, thought he was about to be smaller. I was about to say, no, no, Mr. Sinister should be taller. Let's, be left. <clears throat> Let's look at the articulation, shall we? Uh, Single-jointed elbows, pinless, but it's most because of the trench coat. Um, wrist swivel, they can, they can go... Can actually... Oh, okay. It moves up and down because of the bow stuff, but when you could put it like this, it can't really move too much in this. So if this hand has generic articulation, head can go all the way around, kind of. You might have to move the trench coat a little bit. It can look down that much. It can look up that much. You can look that way. It does have a generic ab crunch. And then a trench coat just kind of flies in the air. It's floating. Um, it does have waist swivel. It's got a nice little ratchet joint. He has fire, fire rotation, double jointed knees. Again, these legs are reused, so they're pinned. It would be nice to get some pinless ones. They could have remolded some, but they didn't. Uh, and then he has wrist, I mean, ankle pivot. Feet are a little stiff on mine. It can go forward that much. and go, I mean, back that much and go forward that much. Yeah, most of his articulation is good. It's not super stiff. The trench coat does limit a little bit, but not a lot. I will say these X-Men 97 figures so far have not been super stiff. Besides Wolverine's head not wanting to, to come off. But other than that, it hasn't been that bad. Now, I have seen people do head swaps with the, uh, the retro carded. Gambit head, and fortunately, I don't have that figure, so I can't actually show you that. But I have seen people do that, and people were saying that it actually looks pretty good on this body, and I I do agree. But unfortunately, I don't have that figure, like I said, so I can't do any head swaps. So there's that. Um, I do like this Gambit. I am happy with it. It does have its flaws here and there, but. I mean, the legs are reused, the body, actually the body itself is basically reused. The arms, I'm not for sure. I think the hands are reused. These are the same that he always comes with. The, the bow staff. The bow staff doesn't stay there and very good. I wish the hands were a little tighter. Close a little tighter, so, but just kind of waves in there. I double say this, though. That head sculpt is amazing on him. That head sculpt is just, I like the way the hair is, see the individual hairs, and see all back here, it, it's just, it is one of the best head sculpts from this line. <clears throat> but, no, that that's basically it about the figure, so, yeah. Today we had a look at Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wave 1 Gambit. I got him in a somewhat decent pose. I'm not the great. I'm okay when it comes to posing action figures and stuff. So I can relate to MCU Collector 24 when he says he's not the greatest at it. I can kind of get mine in some cool poses, but it's nothing special. Uh, no, I'm very happy with this figure. It's my second favorite from this wave, just behind Wolverine.
but we'll see what was my favorite out of the general both wave one and two after i reviewed every single figure and you'll see my honest opinions about them but no this this figure is good i recommend it if you don't have a gambit if you have the other ones you probably wouldn't need it but if you do like the x-men animated series show and you're looking forward to the x-men 7 i do recommend it but no this has been uh, a phenomenal figure but yeah no my cash app is down below if you'd like to help out and support the channel and like always remember you're never too old to be a kid and crimson out everybody have a good one